What's going on guys, DJ Hess here, and I'm bringing you guys a video from my open lobby that I did, the, uh, it was a couple weeks ago, but basically, if you guys want to join in my open lobbies, follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description below, uh, as well as on Facebook, you can uh, find the, the link in the description below as well, and I'll send a message on both when I'm doing an open lobby for invites, and you guys can join in my games, and uh, you also can reach it if you go to my uh, homepage and then click on the titles above um, the banner that says you know Twitter and Facebook um, but I'm not gonna talk about this gameplay in particular I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my diet plan and that I'm gonna be working on here so basically you know it's about that time after the holidays and uh, I gained a little bit of weight here and there through the last year or so uh, my voice had kind of a, a roller coaster with my my weight I mean I'm gonna be honest I mean never been a real skinny guy but um, but you know I uh, I'm going to try to do a uh, workout plan and an exercise plan. So I'm just going to give you guys some tips out there. You know, some of you guys make fun of me for being fat. I've, I've been called fat in some of my videos. I've uh, posted a couple of my videos here and there. You know, it's shit like that's kind of hurtful. It's not necessary and it, it just pisses me off. You know, I'm not um, the skinniest person, as I mentioned. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry I don't have a rippling eight pack. But but regardless, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to try to do something about it again. And, and I've been up and down with my weight through the years, and uh, it's hard to maintain and to to have it stick off. Before I started doing this video, I was about just about two two hundred and seventeen two hundred and seventeen pounds or something like that. And uh, then when I was dieting, exercising, I went down and I dropped down to about a um, a buck ninety. And uh, it's time to get back at it again. And I'm I'm hoping I can get back down to one hundred ninety by summertime. But I'm gonna give you guys some tips out there because you know some of you guys are skinny out there. Some of you guys. Are overweight and it's hard and you guys can relate I'm sure it's really difficult to be able to lose weight and to stay focused and motivated and all those other things to be able to go out and um, diet and exercise but these are my tips for you guys I'm gonna lay them out top five exercise tips top five dieting tips so the the bottom line is there's two key things that you guys need those two things are as I just mentioned exercise very very key and dieting the other half of it it's literally 50 50 if you exercise like crazy do an hour of cardio a day and eat like shit you're not gonna be able to lose weight not effectively um, so here's my first my five um, exercising tips um, which is probably the easier part of the two I guess because diet is, is the one at least it's very difficult for me to control but let's get into it. number one is exercise three to five days a week you, you need to do moderate exercise three to five days a week if you're depending on how overweight you are 10 15 20 100 pounds overweight that that exercise will have to vary but it is important to stay active and to, again do activity at least three to five days a week starting first couple weeks maybe just three days but then after your body gets more accustomed to to being back in the gym and working out doing cardio playing basketball lifting weights whatever it may be you need to be able to go in and, and start doing uh, upwards of, of four and five days a week at least um, number two cardio is important if you think that going to the gym and just lifting is gonna um, get you in shape, you, you need to think again. I mean, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, cardiovascular is very important. It helps you, uh, even though you're not working your arms doing uh, cardiovascular, it's an all, overall um, body workout and it's important. So I would recommend doing, um, you know, at least 20 to 30 minutes of cardio when, when you are working out. Uh, tip number three for the exercise part is um, you can work out at home and uh, you can work out outside or in the gym there's there's multiple ways to work out you don't have to just get a gym membership that's really expensive if you can't afford it there's things that you can do at home there's there's uh, workout videos that you can do uh, there's p90x which is extremely difficult but there's there's you know random videos my wife has Jillian Michael videos from the big, biggest loser and they're you know 25 minute 30 minute workouts and I've I've done them with her and they're very difficult they're, they're not easy to do and it, it does get you moving so even if it's off your couch and you're just running around your living room or whatever um, that that's going to be a good start for exercise uh, if, you, if you know what you're doing and again the, those workout videos are very helpful you can go if you have a Netflix account you can go to Netflix and, and try to um, check out some of the, the videos that they have for working out um, and you can run outside as well but so don't think you need a gym membership to get started sometimes if you're overweight it's embarrassing to go to the gym and be seen by other people depending on how overweight you are you don't want to go out and ex exploit uh, yourself and you know it's just it can be a, a very tense situation so I understand that um, for number tip number four it's kind of more of an advanced tip but it's important to know when you are actually working out if you can't afford a trainer there's little tips such as working back and biceps on the same day 
and chest and triceps on the same day. Chest and triceps, when you work out your chest, when you do a push-up, that works your chest. When you're working your chest, you're also um, working your triceps at the same exact time. So if you're trying to work on certain um, cer certain muscles, you don't want to necessarily go in and do back and then chest in one day because those are very big muscles that you're working at one time and then it'll, it'll, you'll have to recover from both of them. And now you can do circuit training, which is a different thing, but if you're trying to get focused and focus on your, your workouts, uh, then you need to uh, do them you need to do them smartly. So I, what I recommend doing is after the first week of maybe doing just 20 minutes of cardio, next week do 30 minutes of cardio, the next week do 30 minutes of cardio plus uh, you know, back and biceps one day, and then the next day 30 minutes of cardio, chest and triceps the next day. The next day, 30 minutes of cardio and, uh, and, car uh, and well, excuse me, and th so the next day, third day, 30 minutes of cardio and then maybe legs or something like that, or just shoulders. But you need to work kind of different uh, items. You don't want to work the same body part more than once in a week. If you do it twice in a week, it kind of is, there's no point to doing it. Your body needs time to recover from doing that. Now, I'm not an absolute expert or anything like that on, on working out, but just, I've, I'm like Oprah with my weight. I've, I've, I know how to lose weight when I want to. And, um, you know, obviously there's the way of gaining weight, which is eating. And I'm going to jump into the five dieting tips that hopefully you guys will find helpful. The first one is very obvious, and a lot of people say it, but it's eat smaller portions and eat five times a day. Uh, a lot of times, you know, depending on your, your lifestyles, some people, especially gamers, will wake up uh, at 11, 12 in the afternoon, eat a big-ass lunch, a big burger and fries and a shake or whatever it might be, and then just play video games the rest of the day, and then uh, and then eat a big ass meal like late at night, depending on on what your schedule is again. And you eat just two ginormous meals that that are just full of calories. You don't have enough time to work them off. Your metabolism gets all screwed up. So that's why people say, eat three or excuse me, eat five uh, smaller portion meals a day. Small portions is like the palm of your hand for for like a meat. Um, stuff like that, like grain, a grain and a vegetable. Um, the second little tip that I can give you guys is eat lots of fruit, fruits and vegetables. The, uh, fruits and vegetables are um, an essential part of your diet, and it's 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 like elementary from saying that, but it's very true. Uh, and it also uh, it's good fiber, and it's they're the right type of carbs, they're the right type of uh, of sugars that you need. Um, the next thing is very, very important. It's what I focus on when I want to lose weight, and it's cut sugars and fats out of your diet. Um, that means fast food. That means uh, that means candy. That means cakes, cupcakes, cookies, all that shit. Cut all of the extra sugar out of your diet. You now you can get yogurt that has like I would recommend the low sugar yogurts if, if you have them. Um, but yogurt is important as well. Uh, you can eat that. It has protein in it, but it also has amount of sugar. That sugar is fine. The fruit, sugar and fruits like bananas and stuff like that is fine. Uh, I gotta hurry up here because the video is ending. The fourth tip I can give you is read the labels. Learn your guys' foods. Learn the difference between sugar-free and fat-free. Usually if, if stuff is trying to trick you and it says sugar-free, it's loaded in fat. If it says fat-free, then it's loaded in sugar. So uh, there's, there's a give and take there and you guys need to learn how to read your labels when you go to the grocery store. Read what you're buying because uh, and, and high high sodium too is, is another thing that that people they trick you on and says it's low low sugar whatever it might be and and uh, or low fat and then it has tons of sugar. Read your labels. And the last uh, tip that I think that is probably the most essential thing for me is to have a cheat day. Now the way that I work my diet, uh, um, I eat a pretty square meals all all day long, all week long. Then I allow one cheat day on a Saturday where uh, I'm allowed to eat whatever I want. However, uh, smaller portions still and so I can have a burger if I want. Maybe don't eat all the French fries. The uh, the other thing is is you have to work out the day that you have your cheat day. Very important. Um, and l another, I guess, little quick tip is water, water, water. You just you got to drink water all day long. Very important. No sugary drinks. No orange juice. No things like that. L little simple things like orange juice is loaded in sugar. People don't know it. Um, I can give you guys more little quick tips like these if you guys would like to hear. I know it's it's funny hearing tips from an overweight person on how to lose weight but um but I, I'm gonna show you guys a vlog uh, of myself as a, my progress goes through and uh, I be and I'm losing weight through this process and I've already lost three pounds in a, in a week and a half um, and I'm back in the gym this is my third week working out and it feels great my wife is proud of me I'm happy to, to be doing this 
if I drop down to 190 pounds, me and my wife are going to take a trip to Vegas. That's my inspiration. So, uh, as well as getting to go to Hawaii again and, and enjoying, um, you know, just being a little bit lighter. So, uh, hopefully, you guys found this insightful. You know, it's embarrassing talking about my own personal weight, um, but but I'm you know I, I'm I'm open and honest, and hopefully some of you guys can relate out there. Not everybody's as skinny as a, uh, a toothpick. So, have a good one, and uh, catch you guys later. Thanks.